What's up YouTube, this is Matt, and up for review today is the OCZ Tryon 150. This is the 240GB model, but performance is going to be similar across the various capacities with lower read speeds on the 120GB model. The Tryon 150 is a TLC-based flash SSD that is the successor to the somewhat infamous Tryon 100. And even though the Tryon 100 was known for having some reliability issues, the inclusion of Toshiba's new 15 nanometer TLC NAND will hopefully provide better longevity for this drive. Taking a quick physical tour of the drive, we find a sandblast aluminum casing with a white and blue OCZ label on the front, which is quite refreshing from the standard black SSDs, making this, in my opinion, one of the more aesthetically pleasing SSDs on the market. This drive retails at $70, but can be found for much cheaper on sites like Newegg, where I've seen this drive for as low as $50 after a $10 mail-in rebate, making this one of the most price competitive TLC-based SSDs on the market with most comparable drives being priced similarly or slightly higher. In terms of performance, OCZ states a max sequential read speed of 550 megabytes per second and a max sequential write of 520 megabytes per second. Over my testing of five runs through Crystal Disk Mark, I found the drive to be consistently slightly over the advertised read with an average of 551.12 megabytes per second max read and a slightly below the advertised writes with a still impressive average max write of 504 megabytes per second. This again is competitive or slightly better than most of the competition. So overall for the money, OCZ is offering a great value with their new Tryon 150 line of drives. Though it is still yet to be seen whether this drive will be reliable in the long run, the other reviews I have seen have shown a much lower early failure rate than the Tryon 100, making me believe that OCZ is back on the path to greatness. So conclusion time. With OCZ providing what is arguably one of the best value for the money SSDs on the market, this makes it hard to ignore, and because of the solid performance I've seen so far, this drive definitely gets my recommendation, especially if you're able to get it on promo. If for some reason my experience with this drive changes in the future, I'll make sure to make an update video. So yeah guys, this wraps this video up, and if you enjoyed it, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, as well as consider subscribing, and this is Matt from Tech by Matt, signing out.